Ask it, TDA. <laughs> we love trannies. Being elbow deep in trannies. Disclaimer, we love trannies. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hayden here, and I got my, so. my, my good old friend, Wyatt, at Sketchy DA. Today, we are over here at his shop. He's letting me borrow the lift. Well, I mean, he's gonna end up helping me anyways, because what he always does. But he's letting me borrow his lift so we can go ahead and pull the transmission out of the RX-7 and uh, take it up to the dude, have him check it out, and also get the new converter put in for it. So if you guys don't know, this is a Turbo 400 with a trans brake. It's got a manual valve body. This dude up in Wyoming built it. It's supposed to handle 1,000 horsepower. The only reason why we're taking it out is because it does have a slight delay from first to second. Well, actually, the reason why we're taking it out is because the converter is broken, for sure. Yeah. And... The, the, the I'm gonna have are rated for high horsepower. The converter's rated for about 300 horsepower. Yeah, the converter's only rated for 380 foot pounds of torque, and we're making well over that. So while we take the tranny out and I put the new converter in it, I'm just gonna have the tranny guy go through the transmission and make sure everything is good, and just see if he can figure out why it has a little bit lazy uh, first and second gear shifts. So should be pretty easy, as you can see. Just gotta take the drive shaft out and uh, take my nice fancy simple cross member out and uh, take the bolts out and drain it f with fluid and everything should be pretty simple yeah. so i might go get some food here in a little bit but should probably take us 30 minutes to knock out if so only i had that big old tranny funnel right now yeah That'd it'd be, be nice i just ordered it this morning we about to get a whole bunch of hydraulic fluid all over yep so oh, i forgot you don't run ETF. sick Gross. yeah no the hydraulic fluid is not fun either yeah so all right let's get to it wow that's weird, that was weird. <laughs> So as you guys can see, we got the uh, transmission out of the RX-7, got it back on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the trailer and I'm gonna take it with me so it's not in Wyatt's way. Damn right you are. <laughs> got the transmission right here. Freaking Wyatt put on some freaking diesel shit on this thing. That's my Duramax valve caliber back plate. Back plate? The Duramax truck. Oh, I just gave it away. Uh, I'll bleep it. The Duramax build that's coming to my channel soon might be getting a Turbo 400. Yeah, all the holes bolt up on it. Other that, than this one. That fancy Turbo 400 life, dude. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, I just got off the phone with uh, with your tranny guy. With Aaron, the old, the old tranny master up in Wyoming. Yeah, that guy. And uh, he was actually telling me that the converter that it's going to be getting might actually make the car go a whole lot faster. Like he was saying, he wouldn't be surprised if it picks up anywhere from <laughs> five to ten mile an hour in the quarter mile. So that'd be freaking nuts. But. Anyways, you got it out. I'm gonna run up there. I'm gonna hang out with Wyatt for a little bit, help him out, because I ain't got much planned. And traffic here in Colorado is terrible. If you live here, you know. So I'm probably gonna wait until about 6.30 or 7 until I head up there and drop this off with him. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just give him the old converter out of it too, because I don't want it. It's junk anyways. I'm sure he'll get a, get a good use out of it. He said it'll take him a couple days to go through it, so that's pretty good. Nice quick turnaround. I should have it back by the weekend and get it back in there. Now the plan is, once I get the new converter in there with the transmission in there all refreshed up, I wanna throw it on the dyno and just make sure it's all good. I am gonna be doing like a boost leak test and some stuff to it, but that stuff coming this next week on the RX-7, I'm pretty much caught up on fab work, minus one thing I gotta do. Got another manifold I gotta get out, so be doing that. Freaking old Wyatt over here is freaking washing his little RC car. Your transmission will be done when I'm done scrubbing this thing. What? Kids. It's gonna take me forever to wash this, is what I'm saying. Oh. Your transmission will be back together. Look at this dude. He's literally using a little brush to clean this. Well, yeah, there's a lot of delicate little things on here. These are expensive. <laughs> you think real cars are expensive, buddy. Well, why'd you get it so dirty then, you big dummy? Get into the RC world. 
shit's outrageous. Dude, you should bring this with us to Ice Cream Cruise. I'm down, let's go. I'll gap some people out there. Gang if you're boy. Ice Cream Cruise, hit me up, dog. You're trying to get gapped. He's gonna be coming out there with us again. My whole family's gonna be out there. It's gonna be a riot, bro. It's gonna be good, bro. Gonna be a riot. Hell yeah. Did you tell him how much it's gonna cost me to build a Turbo 400? Uh, for the Duramax? Let's just say she's gonna be a solid, like, like double what you sold your Civic for. Yeah, if not more. Between converter and tranny, he's looking at like 15K, boys. No, I'm probably not gonna go Turbo 400. As cool as that would be, it's expensive. I'm probably just gonna go with a 48 RE out of a Dodge because I can build those in house all myself and they hold a lot of power without needing $15,000 worth of stuff. Plus, the part that's expensive on the Turbo 400 is like all the lockup converter stuff. Were you and saying the torque handling? You saying the converters. It's, it's all gonna need like bigger shafts, all yeah. billet stuff, everything. Even whereas might even like, be like Spragless, like everything yeah, you said. Whereas like the 48RE, we can just do like a big input or an oversized input and output shaft, and it's already got lockup and everything in it. We can go full manual valve body with trans brake, and it'll just be a lot better set up. Be freaking rowdy town, baby. Yeah, it'll be sick. Because the Allisons, I don't know if anyone makes a trans brake for them. And they have issues with gear tie-up with really fast, high-horsepower trucks. Mm -hmm. And the 48 RE just has a lot better gearing for drag racing. So. A lot of tranny talk. Yeah, we just love talking about our trannies. We love trannies. Being elbow deep in trannies. Disclaimer, we love trannies. <laughs> but anyways... Yeah. It'll be cool. Later today, we're going to mess around, hang out, go get some food later. Wait for my Just new turbo chill out to today. show up. Oh, Boy. shit. Yeah. Bye, Felicia. Shit. Yeah. She's a ripper, bud. Where go? Oh, fuck. You just wrecked it, you big dummy. That's good for it. That thing hooks and books on the grass. Loose. What is that thing? Watch out, Loose. It's going to get you. <laughs> She's all, what the? She's all, y'all bullies. Lucy, come here. Good Lucy. Work smarter, not harder. Got to load the RX-7 up in the trailer somehow, boy. Let's go. Go easy on me. Decent. We rolling anywhere? No. Like charm. Freaking guy, I was just waiting to run into you. <laughs> See if Wyatt can push this up by himself. Push. Mush. Mush. Fuck you. Go, boy, go. You almost there? Decent. You need to go right, buddy. Right. Yeah. It's all right. Boom. Seven's all loaded up. We gonna get some food. You gonna see something cool? You bitched out with pulling it up with the pit bike. Well, my chain already came loose again. Well, that sucks. You gonna see me do a burnout though? Not really. I'll do it. Don't do it. Don't well, fling. fling. Don't off. fling rocks at my trailer and my truck. Oh, Jesus Dude, that thing looks rowdy. Buddy. You idiot. 
and he wonders why that back tire always goes flat. <laughs> what a dip. Oh yeah, boys. Y'all wanna see Wyatt look happier than hogging shit? Just wait till he gets this new turbo. What's up, fucker? Happier than hogging shit, boy. <laughs> you gonna show us them goodies, boy? I'm gonna show you the goodies. Ooh. This, this is a small charger, bro. Let me see them goodies. I'll show you. Oh, you want the goodies? Don't bite the UPS dude loose. <laughs> Idiot. No, you. No, you. No, you. How was your box so hard to open? Well, I mean, you do have dikes, so that's a little bit easier, and it's kind of cheating, so. They're not called dikes, they're called alternative lifestyle fighters. Call them what you want them, they're dikes. No, they're alternative lifestyle fighters. Mm hmm. What are these? What are these gaskets? Don't mess them that's boys a up. T6, baby. That's a T4, liar. Oh, yeah. Huh? Small guy. This is my small turbo, I forgot. It's a small one. Mm -hmm. Open sesame. Whammy. Wham, bam, lamb. Thank you, ma'am. Pull it out. <laughs> Hell yeah. My fucking Chinese choo choo boy. Alright, so now before you get too carried away, you want to trade my S480 for that one? No. Oh, no? Okay. You don't want an S480 as your big charger? <laughs> my S480 would be my small charger. Or your small charger, yeah. <laughs> I think the 475 is gonna be plenty big for. Why does it have a hole? What? Why does it have a black marker with a circle on it? I don't know. Dude, that thing looks tiny compared to this 480. That's crazy. I know. Looks good though. Look at that Chinese choo choo boy. Decent, Ricky. Oh, yeah. It still looks small. Cause I'm used to holding that big frame fucking. I guess actually it looks pretty. It looks pretty big, but it's crazy. I didn't think you'd be able to tell. The difference between the S480 and this. Oh yeah. It's got the same housings on it and stuff though, but mine doesn't have you can as see much how thin this is. Y yeah. On yours. Yeah. Well, no, mine doesn't even have this. Mine's just the outside oh, with really? holes in it all the way around. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Different so housing. it's crazy. But you also do have a T4 divided. So yeah, it's a T4 divided. Divided. That's nice that they have like a little recess spot for these bolts. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so, a little wheel on there. Decent. Yeah, it doesn't have the Mormon right. flange either. Nice. No, it's a half Mormon or whatever. Flat. Dude, that thing's gonna be rowdy town, dude. Yeah. So, we're doing this one in the valley of my truck. So, I don't know if you guys understand compounds and diesels, but. Probably not. On a Duramax, you have a turbo in the valley most times, and then like a big atmospheric turbo. So, this is a 475 with a T4 exhaust housing going in the valley. And then I got a 491 T6 big boy charger. Big frame, like largest big, big frame. frame. Bigger compressor housing than this, way bigger exhaust largest, housing because it's T6. The largest 400 frame they offer. So, yeah. like the big housings, big wheels. Race cover, like yeah. straight baller, billet wheel, yeah. huge. It's badass. So, hopefully I'll get that back from my turbo builder this week or next. And, yeah. And uh, then I'll let the pictures commence. Well, dude, you got to make a video on it. All right, everybody down below, <laughs> tell him if you want him to make a video. If you want him to make a video on even just these turbos, something stupid right. that he thinks would be a stupid video, Go over to his channel, ask Sketchy DA. <laughs> ask Sketchy DA. Go check it out. Go comment. Tell him you guys want some videos because he has not uploaded a video in forever and he could have been filming stuff like this right now and he doesn't want to. So, so go over there. Go show him some love. Tell him to make some videos. Maybe once his big turbo comes out, I'll, he'll I'll make some videos. Video I'm going to have a video up soon of putting that engine together. Well, honestly, I'm going to. Let's go. I know, I need to. All right, food time, baby. Let's go. Food time after I finger fuck my turbo some more. <laughs> I literally can't with you, bro. I'm glad most of our audience is like 30 plus. <laughs> so it's late. Just got done hanging out with Wyatt and helping him. Got the Turbo 400 all loaded up. Now, me and Lucy about to go head up to uh, Wyoming and uh, drop this transmission off and this converter. Uh, I got some big plans. Hopefully next time out of the track will be Wednesday. We'll be going back on the Test and Tune Wednesday. Uh, Aaron should have the transmission all freshened up by the weekend, so... Get it back from him sometime maybe Friday or Saturday. Put the transmission back in and uh, it should be all good to go to go to the truck on Wednesday. So see if we can finally run fives in the eighth with these eBay turbos. I got some other things I got to do the RX-7. But other than that, it's ready. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Be looking for the next videos. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like, comment, do the damn thing. Y'all know how to do it. 
Thank you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. The sprag's broke. <laughs> I thought you drained this thing, man. Oh shit, yeah. I didn't, I forgot I didn't take the converter off. Oh shine yeah, damn light. right. Shine your light in there. Yeah, it sounds like the sprag's broke in the converter. Okay. Didn't tear up the splines or anything, but...